When I was 12 years old, I was absolutely obsessed with basketball. I loved it more than anything else in the world. Now, around this time, I also really started to get addicted to Instagram. So I was consuming a lot of content related to basketball, and that eventually kind of led me to a lot of like rap music and getting into some more kind of like a genre that I hadn't really been exposed to in my life at that point. And the thing that I always saw on Instagram and about basketball and everything and the YouTube videos that I was watching, like at this point, I love basketball, but I didn't really have any sense of like style or clothes or anything. But the one thing that really captivated and really got me hooked at this point in my life was kind of that addiction and that like that drive to get better basketball shoes. I started seeing these reels and hearing about these songs where people had like these flashy Jordans on and everything. And I remember thinking like, man, my running shoes aren't cutting it for me anymore. Like I want a pair of Jordans. I want like, I had like the shoes picked out and everything. I go on like Foot Locker and like customize them and stuff and just like looking through. And eventually after some convincing, I got my parents to buy me a pair of basketball shoes. I think they were like the Curry 3s at the time or something like that. And I was obsessed with like the shoes. I didn't even really like how they looked. I just wanted to have a pair of basketball shoes. And I got those Curry 3s and I was like, I felt amazing about myself. But at that same time, my parents said I couldn't wear those outside. I couldn't use those for basketball shoes outside. I had to use those for my indoor basketball. Because why why would you want a pair of basketball shoes just to go wreck them on the court? But I was trying to explain, like, they look so good. I I don't want to use them for inside. I want to wear them outside so people people see them, right? Because I heard all these songs about talking about, like, shoes and seeing all these, like, sneakerheads on Instagram and stuff. And so eventually, after, like, months of convincing... I eventually convinced them to get me a pair of indoor bas- or sorry, outdoor basketball shoes and they said just wear those for basketball. What did I do? I started wearing those to school. I started wearing them everywhere and eventually I wanted to get another pair of shoes. Oh, I need like basketball shoes for like indoor gym class cuz I have my good shoes for like basketball and like basketball season but I I need like another pair for like gym class and stuff and then like my outdoor pair and what had happened with me out even like with me not even realizing I fell for the trap that modern society and particularly music and social media places on a lot of young people and that is the trap of materialism because being exposed at a young age we have these influences and like things that we see and people who are kind of we're captivating our attention we see these influencers online we hear these rappers and stuff talking about certain things in their songs and at a young age you can't help but like start at any point in your life you always have people that you look up to and once you start to get a phone and spend time on social media in middle school a lot of the people that you're looking up to aren't your like they're not your parents anymore they're not necessarily your friends even it's people online And the big thing that modern society and music pushes to you is materialism. No matter what industry it is, materialism is pushed. It's like, if you turn on, like, if you go on, like, I don't recommend you do this right now, like, watch this video, but going on, like, Spotify, the top, like, new hip hop songs or everything, there's going to be lines in there about, like, just how much money they have and how much money they spend on certain stuff. And that's just the modern way of life. It's just get as much money as you can and spend it on every possible thing that you can have. And the thing is, no matter how much money that you have, if you're listening to songs that are just talking about like, oh, I bought this and I like the new shirt and like these shoes and like, it's just, it's talking about, and you're just constantly hearing like, oh, new thing, new thing, new thing. You kind of become accustomed to like, oh, fulfillment doesn't come in like fulfillment doesn't come from the things i already have i want to get this thing or i want to get this kind of car and it traps people this materialism trap it traps people at every single income level because there's people who don't have a lot of money who are spending all the little extra money that they have on things buying more things that they literally don't need and like kind of have that like regret for buying it like oh should i get it should i get it and then their friends are like oh yeah buy it buy it buy it because because this guy has it. you'll look cool so they buy it And then are kind of like unhappy with their decision but that cycle keeps going and it happens to people who make a lot of money too some people who are like making a shit ton of money they don't really save anything because and they need to keep working and make more money because their expenses and their bills are just crazy because they got to that level where they had some money now and then just started to spend it on a whole bunch of stuff and 
this trap happens to everyone and it's not just in music it's in social media it's in like tv everything revolves around making sales for these companies that's how they make money so naturally if your goal is to make the most money as possible you want like i'm not trying to sound like a conspiracy theorist anymore or or anything but like the world revolves around transactions and the thing that will make these most these companies the most money is having their products looked at on social media and being talked about in like songs and everything and in terms of fixing your life and in terms of like saving money and actually like i'm not saying like just don't buy coffee save every single dollar that you can and eventually you're rich that's not what i'm saying but just be conscious of the content you consume because it might start to make you and it will start to make you act in a different way and if that isn't the way that you authentically want to act then it's leading you down a negative path because if you're fine with blowing all your money on like drinks and weed and like shit like that go ahead if that's the life that you want to live i'm not going to try and stop you because i know that there's people who that's all they know and they're not like the most i'm not like saying like oh i'm happier than them because i don't do that because i don't live in their mind but i know for me that lifestyle would not make me happy being living that kind of like empty materialistic like lifestyle because the thing is those things wear off no matter how much stuff you get no matter how much money you can spend no matter how much money you actually have and can spend at the end of the day money is just money and things are just things if they're not actually useful and you're just buying stuff to have them no matter how much you have of it it's not going to change anything about your life because yes you might get to use those things but if you still have to work a job sustaining yourself to buy those things just because you thought it was cool in a song then that's kind of that's not the life that i want to live now I didn't really know where this video was going at this point, but I'll just kind of, I'll just keep it going for as long as I can and not like trying to like rush it or anything, but there's a couple different things that I want to touch on. And in terms of the money that you make, no matter how much like you make or how little you make, just be conscious of where you put it because I'm not saying in this video that money is a bad thing. I buy no money is a great thing in terms of the security and the resources that it can provide you with. But just be conscious of what you spend your money on because having more money shouldn't necessarily mean you just buy more things. I've never been a materialistic kind of person because I know that that kind of lifestyle wouldn't, as I like flip my chain out here, this chain I have had for like, I think like a year and a half now, maybe a little bit less. And I think it cost me like 50 bucks and it's just the same one I wear like all the time. Like I don't see the appeal of just like buying more things just to have them. But what I will say in terms of being an, an ambitious young person, spending money is not always a bad thing as long as it's put in the right place. In my opinion, you should spend a decent amount of money on things that are going to be an investment into your future because the way that you think about it in terms of like going to university, if you want to get a degree and there's like a certain cost, most people would say, yeah, it's good to pay your, like some people to even tell you go into debt in order to get that degree because it'll set you up for your future. Now, I'm not here to tell you whether to go to university or not. That's up to you. That's your decision. And it's up to you to follow your path. But the mindset of buying things that are going to set you up on your future trajectory is a great investment and it's not really a cost because if it's something that's going to benefit you in the future then it's a worthy investment so for me this is stuff like whether it be like a certain kind of recording software or like music stuff where i can make more money in the future doing music that's an investment or it's knowledge it's buying books on how to make more money or how to like improve my mindset or how to learn new things that is money well spent because i actually get a payoff in the future i'm not just spending this money now and it's just like ruining my life because i oh i get some enjoyment out of it spend money on things that delay gratification and instant gratification and delay gratification is just like instant is things that give you pleasure in the moment right now so that's things like taking drugs and video games and like scrolling on social media but delayed gratification is doing the things that they kind of suck right now and they're kind of hard but they set yourself up for future success so like meditation and working out and stuff so just to so in terms of spending your money 
delay gratification, buy things that will give you a payoff in the future, whether that be a course or whether that be coaching from a certain person that is good at the things that you want to get good at. That is an investment because you can only learn so many things by yourself. There's only so many free resources out there. And if you're willing to take the chance and actually put your money in the right places, you can set yourself up for a very good trajectory in the future if you are just willing to be conscious of the way that you spend your money. Now, with that being said, if you don't know already, my name is Colby Wallace. I'm an 18 year old musician from Canada. And if you like videos like this, where you hear me talk about self improvement stuff, and also want to hear some of the original music that I got coming out very, very soon, you might as well subscribe. I'm not sure what you're waiting for. It's a win for you. And it's a win for me. Also, if you struggle with being addicted to your phone, and want to learn how to find your purpose, there is a free community that you can join right now that will help you break your phone addiction, scroll down and click the top link in the description. My original music is also linked in the description if you want to check it out. And with that being said, never stop creating my friend and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.